But I got to Rome, right? And the first thing I had to do was learn the language. So I got a job at this cute little local, like, trattoria, this little mom and pop place, um, Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Now, working on Hard Rock was great, because Hard Rock is another great example of contradictory branding, right? Because nothing says rock and roll, like overpriced hamburgers and Shakira shirts selling in the rock shop. But I liked working at Hard Rock because the clientele at Hard Rock Rome mostly fell into three categories, okay? It was mostly relieved Americans, confused Italians, drunken Brits, right? And I just got to move between my different tones of voice depending on who was at my table. Right? Like, I remember serving Americans, this group of guys from Kentucky, this guy called Hank, sat down at my table in Rome and said, finally, some real food. <laughs> <laughs> but Americans tipped well, I loved it. Then I would serve with the Italians. Nothing helps you learn Italian faster than explaining to a group of people from Milan, home to simple ingredients cooked beautifully, what loaded nachos are. <laughs> Hi, um, I know that you guys invented pesto, but can I interest you in this plate of deep-fried corn chips topped with refried beans, salsa, jalapenos, refried beans, more salsa, sour cream, guacamole, and served with the signature hard rock cocktail, the hurricane, which is called that because it's like a storm on your insides. <laughs> bon appetito. But then I would serve the Brits, and I loved serving British people because all they wanted was for someone to condone getting pissed at lunchtime. <laughs> oh, hi, Sue. I think you'll find these onion rings paired beautifully with the house wine. P-no, P-yes. <laughs> what in Rome, Sue? It's 11.59, Sue. <laughs> Slow your roll, Sue.